What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Devonta Harris back with another video. I am the owner of Primary Print Co. and the owner of The Artist Arcade. If you don't know what those brands are, go check in the description down below. Primary Print Co. is a custom t-shirt printing business. The Artist Arcade is a clothing brand of mine. Please support. Go get some merch to support. I do not get paid by YouTube to do any of this. And as you can tell, I'm printing right now. So this is for a client in San Francisco. They ordered more shirts. Let's speed this up right now. Boom. Super clean, super clean. Yeah, I got that water. Yeah, I got that water. So today's video is on the chest platen. As you can tell, this thing right here. This is a six by six, I believe, chest platen. Let me actually get my ruler out. So we're gonna put it here. Yes, six, six by six, okay. So this is a six by six chest platen piece. I think this is a really highly beneficial platen. And I'm going to show you, it was requested by one of my subscribers, one of my good friends, uh, now currently, his name is Greg, and he wanted to know, how do you line up a t-shirt on the chest platen to make sure it's correct all the time? So, and what I was telling him on the phone is, I figured this out on accident. See, this right here, this guide, this lip, this is your ruler right there, okay? So if you're looking at a full-size adult platen, correct? The lip is still there, right? Obviously, you could use this for chest pieces, but I think it's a hassle. So I got the chest platen just to make everything more easier. So these here are lips. This has no access plat into it because it's the chest piece and then the lip is right here. So you use it as a guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and I'm going to show you how I line it up from both angles. This is a quick video, small video, but it's just to show and demonstrate how to use the chest plat or how I use it. You know, you don't have to follow this way, but I think it's a very beneficial way. And guys, I promise I am going to do a video on this software here. Let me... Let me zoom in. So after this video, I'm going to be doing a video on the software, how to use the software. I've been reading the manual, so it's been helping me a lot. And I'm gonna do an in-depth tutorial on how to use it. Maybe not too, too in-depth, but like mainly what you need to get it to work properly, okay? But we'll, we'll, we'll see, it we'll, depends. I'm going to Hawaii in a week uh actually like like five days oh and um i'm gonna be reading that on the airplane and stuff like that also i'm just i'm kind of just gonna be going through it so when i come back from hawaii i'm gonna have that video up from you and then i'm gonna take a break from the business vlogs for a little bit and then show you my my footage in hawaii and stuff like that so let's get into the chest platen quick video guys but i'm gonna show you how to line up a shirt to make sure it's accurate all the time let's do this yeah shirt grab it by the seams of the, the the sleeves or whatever top corners pinch them and you're going to line the side of your shirt up with that lip just like that and then you can figure out your inch gap that you want for the shirt right so I have it on the software at an inch gap right so I'm gonna put two inches on the collar and then it's gonna bring it down an inch for three inches in total. So you don't have to use a ruler once you start, you know, getting the flow of it and things, but you wanna use that lip as a guide to let you know where the print is gonna happen. So that's two inches right there. And then, yeah, as you can tell, you line it up, boom, and it's good. And then tuck, bam, bam. Okay, boom. And you're solid. Now, if you didn't see that all too well, I'm gonna have my girlfriend come in here and record also. Um, but I'm gonna put up the tripod again, and I'm gonna do it from the right side, technically, looking to the left. It was on the left side looking to the right, so I'm gonna do it from the right side looking to the left right now. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this shirt right here. The ideal size for a chest platen piece, I believe, is I think three by three. 
I think that's like super solid to me. That's just my personal preference, um, and so far my customers like it. Four by four and five by five, that's just a little too big, guys, you know what I'm saying? Okay, again, so when you're doing a shirt, here's the collar, I mean, not the collar, I'm sorry, here's the sleeve. This is the sleeve right here. There's a seam right there. Pinch the top part where it meets to the collar here, okay? And same thing on the other side. And then give your shirt a shake, boom. And there is a lip right here. This is the lip I'm telling you about. And from there, lay your shirt down and line it up with that lip right there. It's accurate, I promise you. It's like you can even try it for yourself. If it's not, call my bullshit. <laughs> I'll give you my number and be like, hey, that's bullshit, bro. But I promise you, it's not. Two inches, cool, and you're gonna see a slight little gap there. Right there. Pull, it lines up perfectly, okay? Get my camera back, sorry guys. So from there, tuck, tuck. Doesn't have to be a super tight tuck, but you know, make sure it's on there. And then, we get a printing. Stand by. There we go. Wait for the chime. Three. And there you have it guys, a nice chest print. Okay, boom. And I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. Okay you guys, and now I look hideous. But boom, check it out as you can see if I was wearing this shirt. Ugh. Nice chest piece. No bullshit, using that lip right there, that access lip, that shit is gold bro. On here in the software in this corner here, you can enter in your dimensions and stuff. You never want to go over six by six, otherwise you're gonna have a fucked up piece where it's supposed to be on the chest print only, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Just be careful. Mind your sizes. Three by three, I think it's a solid uh, chest print, as you can tell. I think that's what people should be going. So grab it by the seams, flick the shirt, and you want to lay it down on here. Line it up and it's going to be accurate. Your collar is gonna be in the middle of this chest platen piece. I don't know, is it is it good? Can you still see it? You can talk. <laughs> no, 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 can you see it? See what, the shirt? Can you see the, the, the shirt here? Yeah. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then to pull or use your ruler to where you think it's gonna be a two inch gap, three inch gap, whatever inch gap that you wanted, right? So this is about a two inch gap here. And I have it set on the software for a one inch gap already added to the two inch. So it's gonna be three inches in total from the collar. And then boom, tuck. Lay down flat, as flat as you can so it doesn't hit the print head. Stand by. And you begin. Protein. Okay guys, so that's how you successfully use the chest platen to get a nice chest piece printed on your t-shirts. And that's the way I do it. Um, I think you should try it just to see. Um, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. It works for me. Um, hopefully this was, I got it from three angles from the left to right, from right to left, and then my girlfriend holding it from behind me. And so if if it works for you guys, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, you know, hey, to each his own. I'm just spreading some knowledge that I learned from using this $27,000 machine here. If you like it, run with it. If not, suck a dick. <laughs> okay guys, so if you would like any custom prints, email me, it'll be in the description down below. And if you want any merch to support, I do not get paid by YouTube, um, please go in the description and check out my businesses, help me grow, um, support black business owners, and keep rocking with me. I will see you in the next video. Bye.